most people will have had the conversation sometime during their lives gone a bit like, well, I know somebody who's 90 years old and smoked 20 cigarettes a day since they were 18, so cigarettes can't be that bad for you or they wouldn't still be alive. A conversation may be about somebody they know, might be some ageing pop star who's taken lots of drugs and survived, or some other person who had a lifetime of hazardous or downright dangerous activities, and yet somehow they've survived it all. This of course doesn't mean the activities they've engaged in aren't dangerous, just that in the individual case they've managed to beat the odds in what's known as the survivorship bias. So what exactly is this bias, and what can be the consequences for ignoring it? Well, survivorship bias relates to any activity which in the end the form of some kind of failure. Whether this is death, bankruptcy, or even mechanical breakdown, it doesn't really matter. The general point is that just because something survived it doesn't make it safe or superior, only because the people or items that failed are no longer visible. One point might be that they don't make things like they used to, and the supposed proof might be a kettle which has lasted for 20 years. However, just because this one example of a kettle made 20 years ago and survived doesn't mean that design and manufacture of that particular kettle was superior to modern kettle. The person may be unaware of the 19,999 other kettles which were made at the same time as a 20-year-old kettle which have all since failed. All they know about is one success story and none of the failures. That could be that things weren't made to last back then, but the surviving item doesn't actually prove anything. The one problem that comes into play where survivorship bias is unrecognised that can lead to dangerous behaviour or overconfidence. An example might be a youthful driver who has not had an accident in their lifetime and thinks this is because they're a far superior driver to everyone else on the road. And whilst it's possible this person may have the reflexes of a world-class rally driver, chances are they're no better than anyone else on the road. As a result of this overconfidence, they can then assume that they would drive faster than the speed limit because they're a superior driver and can handle any trouble they might encounter. Whereas, what's more likely, the times they've drifted onto the opposite side of the road when cornering too fast, they're just lucky that no one was coming in the opposite direction at that particular moment. That type of incident is more likely to avoid by luck than judgment. The overconfidence in their driving ability by ignoring survivorship bias can actually lead them to more and more dangerous driving until finally their luck runs out. The major factor behind survivorship bias is we're talking about risks rather than certainties. The more times you parachute out of an airplane or go skiing, the more you are eventually to break your leg. However, this doesn't mean that at any time you're actually certain to break your leg. You could go skiing a hundred times and not have a single injury, or you could break your leg on the first time going down a slope. It's just the risk you take. Now, survivorship bias can also lead people to make false conclusions about what makes a successful business. Now, some people have studied businesses with a track record of success, assume that these businesses must have been doing something different in their management style or their business model to achieve this success. However, when these same businesses are tracked for a few more years, after them being selected, the majority actually now do worse than the market as a whole. It appears that past successes of the business are not a good predictor of future successes. Maybe because all major companies have some projects that work well and others which go badly. And depending upon how much time and effort and even finance the companies put into the various projects depends whether the company flourishes or goes bankrupt. While some of this is good judgment, some is just luck and being in the right place at the right time with the right product. Indeed, past successes again may lead executives of the company to be overcompetent in their abilities and overstretch the resources of their company. So being aware of survivorship bias can help you navigate some of the pitfalls in both life and in business.